is good Raider Nation is your boy Raider Alex back with you another video for you guys anybody that's new to the channel you guys love Raider related content just like this make sure to like comment subscribe to the channel also make sure to hit that bell notification that way you get notified every time I post a video just like this one without further ado let's jump right into the topic of this video after the first three weeks, I made a film study breaking down the Raiders first round pick Tyree Wilson out of Texas Tech and I showed how it seemed like he really started to struggle his career and just adapt to the next level throughout the first three weeks on that video. And I will say most of you guys went off on him in the comment section labeling him a bust saying it's not looking good when it comes to Tyree Wilson but after watching the last month or so the last four weeks of Tyree Wilson's reps there are definitely Definitely has been a change to his game so look let's watch the tape and analyze how Tyree Wilson is looking like now compared to what he looked like in the first three weeks now one of the first things I noticed compared to the film study I did on him earlier is Tyree Wilson throughout the first three weeks he had a very very slow first step especially when he had his hand in the dirt like in this rep but ever since week four I've noticed that Tyree Wilson has been standing up and it's really helped him a lot when it comes to his first step. Now look, his first step isn't as fast as we ideally would like it to, but look, that's something that he's gonna have to work on and develop. And that's something if you followed him in the pre-draft process, that's something we all knew that he would have to work on. But when it comes to his first step, when his hand is in the dirt versus when he's standing up, it's just so much better for him and that's just gonna help him so much more get pressure and make plays out there. Now on this rep right here, he's left unblocked and he has the speed to close off the running back and just blow up this play for a minimal gain. Here the Raiders defensive line gets pressure on quarterback Mac Jones, but let's pay attention to Tyree Wilson. Here he shows he has insane power being able to push back left tackle Trent Brown who is a very big guy and a strong guy. Yes, he's a lazy player as we know when he was back here in the silver and black. But look, there's no doubt that he has some massive strength to him and Tyree Wilson was able to get his hands on his chest plate and push him back while also maintaining the edge. While the Raiders defensive line on the interior collapses on Mac Jones, just good rep overall. Right here, him and Max Crosby do a good job of getting pressure, but quarterback Mac Jones was smart enough to get this ball off very quickly. Now here is just an awesome rep from Tyree Wilson against the run. Once again, he uses his strength and the physicality to get advantage on his matchup and is able to make the tackle on the running back. Just good stuff right here. Once again, he shows the massive strength and power he has, forces Mac Jones to move to his right, and then he has to throw it to the check down pass. Definitely a winning rep right here from Tyree Wilson. Now right here, Tyree Wilson is able to get his right arm free and is able to get to the outside of the offensive lineman and gets direct pressure on Jordan Love, and he forces him to just throw this out of bounds. Just good job right here. Now take a look right here, once again Harry Wilson shows his massive physical traits, just completely pushes back the left tackle, him and Crosby did a great job creating pressure and forcing an incomplete pass once again. And then on this next rep, once again he dominates the left tackle and forces Jordan Love to throw the ball off quickly to the check down pass. Here he gets pressure on the edge once again, but here where I was most impressed with was the hand battle where Tyree Wilson is able to get his hand on the right tackle's right shoulder and then Tyree Wilson is able to disengage his right arm and now he's got both of his hands on the right tackle's shoulder plates and now he has total control over his man on this rep and he's even able to start to pull away from him at the end but Jordan Love gets this off quickly but Tyree Wilson definitely helped cause the incomplete pass and I just like what I'm starting to see from him when it comes to the hand battle inside the trenches. Now on this rep, Tyree Wilson does a great job against the run and whenever he's matched up with a tight end, which him being on the edge and then having Max Crosby on the opposite side, he's definitely going to be matched up with tight ends here and there. And whenever that happens, I feel like he's just going to win the rep. He's just too strong and physical for any of these tight ends to hold up. On this rep, he does a great job sealing the edge on this rundown where the Raiders are able to stop them for a loss. Here he does a very good job getting pressure and pushing back his man. You can see Justin Herbert too, he was looking towards this side of the football field and then he notices the pressure coming directly from 
Tyree Wilson. He's then forced to move to his right and then boom, he's met with another big hit from Max Crosby. This is ideally what we want to see from this Raiders defensive line moving forward from this duo with Tyree Wilson on one side and Max Crosby on the other side. If they can get both of these guys to get pressure, crashing on the edges, we can just get somebody to get some push up in the middle, this defensive line, if Tyree Wilson reaches his potential, could be very scary for the Raiders moving forward. Now, a great pressure once again. He's able to fight through what should have been a holding call, in my opinion, and he forces Justin Herbert to roll on the outside to avoid the pressure. And then he throws the ball deep and it leads to a turnover from the Raiders secondary. Just good rep overall. Now, on this one in last week's game, his first official sack in the NFL for Tyree Wilson. Definitely a big moment for him personally. Now I will say this is during a Hail Mary attempt right before the half. So more times than not, he's not gonna be able to make this sack as a quarterback. He's not gonna hold on to the ball this long. But look, let's give him some credit for dominating on the rep and showing the speed to track down the quarterback. And just in general, I'm happy because he's finally able to get that monkey off his back, get his first career NFL sack. And hopefully this play can just give him even more confidence moving forward to get more of these quarterback sacks on the season as he's definitely getting closer when it comes to just overall quarterback pressures. Now on this one right here, he almost gets his second NFL sack. We see Terry Wilson is able to push the right tackle back. Looks like he causes him to get a little bit off balance. He's able then to get pressure right on the quarterback and he very, very nearly gets another sack. And shout out to the Bears quarterback able to get this ball off when it looked like it was going to be a sack. So overall, Raider Nation, Tyree Wilson looks like he's starting to improve and he's doing a much better job getting more consistent pressure on the quarterback when it comes to quarterback hurries and pressures. And like I said, he finally got his first NFL sack. The one thing that he has done right away that has helped him out a lot has been he's went away from putting his hand in the dirt, which has allowed him to have an even quicker first step, which has helped him out tremendously. As I said, the first step still isn't quite there, but that's something that he's going to have to work on on the offseason and develop with time. But it's definitely just a night and day difference compared to how it looked in the first couple of weeks. The hand placement and technique is starting to improve a bit as well. His overall technique will take at least a year or two before he can get elite from this standpoint when it comes to his hand placement and his overall technique when it comes to being a pass rusher to develop more moves and not just solely rely on his physical strength and traits but with Tyree Wilson being so physically strong and dominant it really has allowed him to be competitive in the NFL early on and a lot of times he's been winning just based off of his strength and physicality whenever opposing teams match him up against a tight end as well he usually completely dominates them and is able to make plays against the run but Tyree Wilson is really just a full offseason away to recover and heal from his injury that's something that doesn't get talked about a lot he's coming off of a bad injury you know it's gonna take him some time just to gain some of his confidence back from just a bad injury like that and he's also about a year or two away to becoming a more consistent pass rusher when it comes to his overall technique that will really make him a force to reckon with in the NFL we saw in a couple different sacks when he's able to get pressure on the edge and then Max Crosby is able to do the same it really makes it very difficult for opposing teams to make plays down the field either they're gonna get sacked or they're gonna be forced to throw the ball out of bounds or just to the quick check downs where our defense can come up and just make the tackles overall I like the improvements we have seen from Tyree Wilson he really needs to continue on this trend getting a little bit better as the weeks go by he finally got his first NFL sack so hopefully he can get more I would be happy to see if he can end the season with about five sacks or so but for those of you who labeled him as a bust I would just have to say let's pump the brakes when it comes to that take Terry Wilson in my opinion is definitely showing some traits that are starting to flash on tape but as I said earlier it will take him some time before he can fully put it together I understand most of you including myself wanted defensive tackle Jalen Carter so sometimes that plays into the factor when we're evaluating Tyree Wilson which you know isn't really fair to him as a player but what I just have to say is look Tyree Wilson just on his physical traits alone was going to be a top 10 to 15 prospect so I don't necessarily think it was a huge reach 
And I will say Tyree Wilson still has a good chance to live up to his star potential and I'm going to support him until he's proven me that he just can't live up to his potential. But as we have seen on the tape, there's a lot to like. He's starting to flash certain traits and it seems as though he's headed in the right direction when it comes to his developmental process. But Raider Nation, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of what you've seen from Tyree Wilson thus far. Also, anybody that is new to the channel and you guys love Raider related content just like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.